welcome you all back to another exciting uh, FinTech Hawaii Doco Momo show here, and uh, which is probably unique in the country. Uh, Doco Momo has many chapters, and as far as we know, we might be the only one who have a TV coverage, which is great. And so we're wrapping up a very exciting uh, summer. Again, where uh, our board members have done a great job in hosting uh, several shows. So please go back if you haven't watched them and, and watch them. We're not saying only, but probably they sort of conclude now in a very sort of a climaxy way uh, in an event that we're going to talk about today. And we're broadcasting live once again for our very tropical mid-century modern um, metropolis of Honolulu and you might say well that can be argued who says that and obviously we say that but we're biased but now this event is sort of uh, verifying that this is not just our opinion this is the opinion of we can say the world because it's an international uh, organization and we have the perfect co-host today of this show uh, who is our president of the chapter Hawaii and uh, please Graham welcome first of all and thank you uh, happy to be back again and again and please uh, always uh, and of course and yeah. uh, please share with us what exciting event that is that uh, we're spearheading sure I'd be happy to so yeah as Martin said I mean we were working for months now all gearing up towards this event and uh, and also as Martin said Dokomomo is this international organization, right? And there's a U.S. kind of branch to it, and we're part of that. And there's many chapters all around. Um, and every year, National hosts a symposium. So last year it was in uh, Columbus. The year before that, it was in um, it was in Arizona. And we won the bid to host here in in Honolulu. So it's at the end of September. It's a Huge honor for us to be hosting it, and it's something um, we're all pretty excited about and been ramping up to do. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big honor, pretty big and, deal. And there are events in the world, so it's even international. Right. And we have people from all over the world even visiting, so it's even bigger than yeah. already big. Yeah, totally. So event. like next year, there's going to be one in, in Tokyo, right? Mm -hmm. So it kind of puts us on par with uh, mm -hmm. these other you know, metropolises, as you said, mm -hmm. with these great mid-century modern resources. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty big thing for Honolulu. At least we think so. Yeah. yeah. The world now thinks. So yes. let's go, because you brought a couple of uh, images here from uh, sort of the um, program. Yeah. And so let's, let's walk through them and uh, bring up the first slide here. And the event, it's going to be uh, four days, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's September 25th through the 28th. Mm -hmm. So Thursday through, or Wednesday through Saturday event. Um, but yeah, the, the whole theme of the conference, uh, which we want to kind of talk about to lead us off with, is uh, this idea of mixed modern and mm -hmm. um, modernism in this multi-ethnic, you know, multicultural context. Mm -hmm. So if we go to that, that first slide. So to speak, the next one. Maybe the next mm -hmm. one, yeah, there you go. So mixed mod, modern architecture in a multicultural context. Um, that's the, the, the theme we're going with, and that kind of helped us to tell the story of our unique brand of modernism here mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it's four days long, and uh, it's starting off on that Wednesday. So, mm -hmm. And if you're wondering what the project is that you guys choose for the, for the shot here, these are the Kahala apartments, which are part of the Kahala Hilton, now Mandarin, and we have one of the speakers, uh, Ron Lindgren, coming being a speaker on Friday and um, we've been in touch and said we should probably do a couple of shows to dive deeper into the into the work of his firm which was together with Edward Killingsworth um, and so again this is a very unique project that is also we, we did a, a, a human humane architecture show about it because it's one that we're worried about because Doko Momo who doesn't know means documenting and conserving so there's a great emphasis on CO here because Kamehameha School, who is the landowner, uh, this is on leasehold and there are very few years left. And then we're all very worried for this to maybe not be there anymore. So again, that's sort of the proactive part of Doko Momo to keep these goodies, right? Yeah, definitely. We want to kind of celebrate them and put them in public attention so mm -hmm. that 
everyone else kind of fights for them, and it's mm -hmm. not just a small group of uh, you know architects and architecture enthusiasts. All right. Well, speaking of which, let's move on to the next page and the first day, the kickoff, as it says here. Yeah. Another very legendary project here. Probably not as threatened as the previous one. No, I think that they're pretty safe. So this is going to be the whole day is at the Outrigger Canoe Club in Waikiki. Uh, beautiful uh, private you know beach club designed by Vladimir Asipov. Um, and we're excited to be having, you know, our first day of just check-in and meetings and things like that. But then that night we're having kind of like this opening kickoff reception. Um, Sid Snyder, uh, Asipov's former business partner, who was also a guest on the show previously, um, mm -hmm. he's going to come in and talk about a little bit about the architecture of the building and a little bit of, you know, Asipov's kind of legacy in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. So no, and that was... You having been the host, great show. I loved it. Yeah, it was, it, it was an gave, honor to have him. Gave um, great insight and... Uh, I will be there because he assigned me to be at the door, so I was <laughs> signing in people. So talking it. signing in, please encourage people to go on the website. And it's such a great event. Such things are already sold out, which is a great compliment. But there are many, there are still some spots, so please snap them, right? Yeah, definitely. We're anticipating over 200 guests so far. Um, we've got tours every day, which we'll go into. And yeah, as you said, a lot of them are selling out. We're trying to expand them so we can accommodate more people. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a big event. Awesome. All right. So let's see what's all going on there. Let's go to the next slide, which is actually getting us to our hood that we live in at both at the opposite ends, but still we're yeah. representatives. We're Waikikians. Here, yeah. <laughs> so that's one of the things that are going to be toured, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so on the first day, while everyone's kind of getting in and settled, um, we're going to have two self-guided tours. Um, one of them is the uh, Gold Coast tour that we actually did a couple of years ago for Dokomomo's um, tour day. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the, uh, this uh, Waikiki mid-century tour that actually we're kind of co-hosted with uh, Surf Jack Hotel um, and Swim Club. So it's going to be kind of in and around there, some great gems mm -hmm. to go check out and kind yeah. of at your leisure. On that first we day. encourage people to join us and become mid-century Waikikians as well. Definitely. You did a couple of shows about the architect of your building at Winbauer and the Kalia. Yep. And I did a show about my building, which is an Ernest Hara building, the Waikiki Grand. So we're yeah, we beneficiaries kind of, from that era. And, and we bookend and we, Waikiki. Exactly. Yeah. And we enjoy the easy breezy nature of them on a daily basis. Right? Definitely. But there's many more out there, so join us, uh, sort of scavenger hunting them and yep. hunting them down and seeing them. Okay, what else do you have, Graham? Let's go to the next one. So on Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of changing venues, and we're going to go up to the East-West Center uh, at the University of uh, Hawaii Manoa campus. Um, we're going to be in uh, the IMPE-designed uh, building here on the screen. And the theme of that day is going to be East meets West. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, um, in the morning, we have uh, kind of a couple of lectures happening, two sessions. Um, the first one is this kind of Hawaii overview, which um, Glenn Mason, uh, architect and architectural historian here in town of Mason Architects, uh, is going to be speaking first. And then I'll be talking a bit about kind of the mid-century context for Hawaii. And then the second half is... Um, about the Asian influences that came into Hawaii and kind mm -hmm. of influenced our modernism in a unique way. So mm -hmm. we'll have um, uh, Allison, um, Allison Chu, Alyssa Carson talking about um, Asian influences in Hawaii. Uh, Lorraine Minatoishi of Minatoishi Architects is going to come in and talk about kind of Japanese architecture mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Luca Guido, who's going to be our, our fourth uh, kind of guest and lecturer yeah. about um, kind of the uh, a bunch of homegrown architects that you know were from Hawaii yeah. went off to um, uh, school in the mainland and came back mm -hmm. and what, how their mm -hmm. kind of influence was yeah. legacy. You guys couldn't have found a better stage for that because the late I.M. Pei who has just passed away after a very successful long life he turned 101 or something like that. And yeah incredible. And as you said the architect of that beautiful piece of architecture that we also touched upon here and there in human-human architecture, mainly about his dormitory next door, the Hala Manoa, so you guys will see all that and truly enjoy that. This is, a, this is a treasure. And it is up the hill where we also work, the University Hill, but it's not officially part of the University of Manoa. It's a separate and independent entity in there. 
But needless to say, we will get up next door as well. So let's go to the next page here. Oh, yeah. This is still part of uh, actually the, the East West Center complex. This is one of the dorms. But again, as we said, there will be tours of everything else above and beyond that enclave within the larger part of the university, right? Yeah, so in between uh, going from the morning sessions of lectures to our afternoon tours, we're actually having kind of lunch and then a walking tour of campus. Because we've got, I mean, you've probably, you've done a couple of shows on it, actually, mm -hmm. of all the great mid-century um, buildings there on campus. So we're having this walking tour from east-west over to the School of Architecture, where we're having a gallery uh, exhibition on all of those buildings. And so you guys can kind of find out more about them mm -hmm. and learn about them mm -hmm. um, and see some old photos as well as some new photos of them. So that's going to be kind of a cool thing that's going to be up, I think, uh, from the beginning of the symposium, I think, up until the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be showing yeah, us yeah, this yeah, semester. Yeah. And there's a little reception up there, thanks to Tropical Tutor Bill, that we also had here as a guest yep. twice. And so he is very welcoming and, and supports the event a lot, uh, coming from history and his passion for tropical yeah. modernism was easy for him. And so, so thank you. So thank you, Bill, for that. That's great. So looking forward to that event as well. And there's a couple of our emerging talents basically being posted there at the, at the buildings and, and, and telling the visitors the, the, the stories, right? Exactly, yeah. We should have a bunch of people helping us out that day. Absolutely. So let's move on. What's next? So the tours in the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, we have four tours every day, and uh, two of them, the Pava uh, walking tour and the Oahuan, or not the Oahuan, the Makiki uh, mm -hmm. walk, modern walking tour, um, were actually two past uh, walking tour days, walking day tours that we've had, and uh, they're going to be uh, pretty great, great little enclaves, little neighborhoods full mm -hmm. of uh, gems. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom, um, We've got these two kind of very exclusive uh, and already sold out tours that we're trying to expand possibly. Um, one of them is going to go see the uh, residences designed by uh, Wimberley and Cook. Mm -hmm. So Pete Wimberley, which uh, DeSoto has done a show on, um, we're going to see his house. And then across the street is the Earl Ernst house, which is another just great gem of a, of a, of a residence mm -hmm. here in Hawaii. And then the other spot is um, we're going to have three days, actually. This is the first day of Ossipoff tours, rotating Ossipoff tours. So this day we're going to see uh, Bachman Hall, which is pictured. We're going to swing by Hamilton Library um, mm -hmm. and see the Ossipoff documents. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go up to the Little Strand House. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be quite the tour. You can see a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. And it covers, obviously, different typologies, which is great. While the previous one were, was more institutional architecture, this is more personal and private and private residences. So, you know, the visitors will see how ingrained and in everything was infused by that era, and it didn't exclude any kind of building type, right? No, definitely. This is single-family homes. Mm -hmm. This is university buildings, multifamily, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you know, everything. Absolutely. Awesome. Sounds great. But then again, while we're in the tropics and we have the sun all the time, we have tropical temperatures by the end of the summer here, right? Uh, people are probably going to be up for some tropical... Elias, and that gets us <laughs> to the next page here. You take care of that too, right? Sure, yeah. So that night, uh, we have a free event uh, with uh, three different restaurants participating in Waikiki. We got Mojino and Sons at Surf Jack, uh, we've got Tommy Bahamas, and we've got uh, Lalo, their bar there at the, at the hotel. Um, and we're doing this cocktail club kind of a bar crawl between mm -hmm. those three spots. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually creating some mid-century modern themed uh, cocktails for us for, the, for those mm -hmm. different uh, spots. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be a drawing and a lot. It's kind of a thing to, you know, cool people off at the end of the day and uh, bring yeah. people together. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, bring back the tiki that, again, we, unfortunately, we address that, you know, frequently in the shows with DeSoto that people consider us to be the epicenter of tiki as well. But in fact, we don't have much left. So we need to sort of rejuvenate that cult, mm -hmm. culture, right, mm -hmm. pretty much. So this seems a good opportunity to, to do that. And, uh, so uh, then that's the end of Thursday. So then comes Friday, and Friday starts uh, in another part of town, which is more sort of um, official center, political epicenter in town. And then we'll go to the next page here. And one of the most prominent buildings, right, for that era on a large scale. 
Yeah, so we're going to be at the Hawaii State Capitol, and it's actually coinciding with uh, the State Capitol's 50th anniversary since mm -hmm. it was built. Mm -hmm. So perfect timing yeah. to be uh, having a, a part of our Docomobile Symposium mm -hmm. there. Um, the morning session is going to be called Welcome to Paradise, where we've got uh, a bunch of speakers again with two different sessions. The first one is uh, Paradise Paradigms. Perfect title. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good title. Um, the Soto Brown, mm -hmm. uh, your co-host, is going to be uh, speaking for a little bit. Um, Kirsten Faulkner of Historic Hawaii is going to be speaking mm -hmm. for a bit. And then the second session is going to be um, Designing Paradise, where we've got... Um, uh, Don, Don Hibbard and Ron Lindgren, and yeah, Don both Hibbard, talking yeah. about, mm -hmm. um, Don and Ron, uh, mm -hmm. both talking about uh, kind of designing uh, Hawaii's resort architecture. Yeah, and it's, it's also the title of a book that is the must-read book on the island that Don wrote and yeah. that uh, Ron was, uh, is a participant in the book with a many projects as the Kahala Hilton, the Halukalani, and many other buildings yeah. in town. So that's, um, again, that's going to be two great panels that puts it into perspective of the zeitgeist, first of all. That's kind of the first half of that, and then dive deeply into the, into the grain of it and have case studies. So that's exactly. great. And everything on this sort of perfect uh, stage on, on a building that... Um, so sort of successfully walks on that sort of fine line that modernism ha wasn't able to do anymore after that on mm. being just as literal or inspirational, interpretative as you want to be without being actual. And so, you know, what you see is you could see a volcano in there, but you don't have to. You could see chunks of palm leaves in there, but you don't have to. That was so great about that era, right? Yeah. That is worth rethinking and revisiting. So um, let's move on to the next day here, which is another walking tour, right? So yeah, we've got two walking tours in the afternoon on Friday. Uh, one is the uh, Capitol District. There's so many great buildings around the, you know, the state capitol. There's the mm -hmm. Board of Water Supply by Hartwood and, and many others. So mm -hmm. that's going to be a good kind of uh, yeah. walking tour. We're actually been able to, are going to be able to get into the Board of Water Supply. Mm -hmm. I've never been inside. Mm -hmm. People are going to be able to go across that kind of famous bridge yeah, yeah, yeah. over the uh over the roadway there mm -hmm. and um that was a pretty cool tour looking forward to that and then also one um going starting from the state capitol walking mm -hmm. up to the queen emma gardens mm -hmm. the yamasaki building um mm -hmm. there at the end with those three towers and kind of in between there there's so many other great gems and resources of, yeah, uh, of yeah, great yeah. mid-century architecture and after that successful day of walking again party time <laughs> and it's going to be at one other legendary Icon that is a good example that the CO in Dokomomo has been working because that project was initially uh, planned to be demolished by its new owner, How to Use Corporation, and based upon sort of a, a group of three, but leading to the Dokomomo board of people here, it was saved. Um, and so let's watch that one and you tell us more what the event in and around it is. Next picture, please. So yeah, so after the day of two walking tours and two uh, bus tours, we're going to have our wrap-up party at the IBM building. Iconic IBM building um, right there in Ala Moana Boulevard, designed by Asipov. Um It's going to be a great event, um, and it's kind of a great way to kind of wrap up the, you know, the two days of, uh, or three days at that point, of mm -hmm. lectures and tours and everything. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting. And but for the ones who hadn't had enough yet, right? There's a Saturday. Yeah. And let's hop onto that one. So let's get the next picture here going. So because there's so many great resources in, in Honolulu, um, Saturday is just dedicated to tours, mm -hmm. and uh, Hola Hola is the theme, getting around and seeing everything. Um, so actually, uh, if we could just dive right into them on the next page. Um, we've got four tours, two in the morning, two in the afternoon. The two in the morning, we've got one that's visiting a bunch of um, mid-century churches and sacred sites, one that's going to be visiting the Kahala Hilton, uh, Kahala Hotel, as well as, as well as the Charlot House and the Good Sill House. We've kind of framed it as Kahala Modern, that tour. One that's going to be visiting Valley of the Temples and a bunch of other kind of memorials back, mm -hmm. in, the, back in the day that were mm -hmm. designed, Pete mm -hmm. Wimberly included mm -hmm. um, as one of the architects. 
And then the Asipov tour in the afternoon is also going to visit the Goodsell House, the Little Shrine House, and mm -hmm. Bachman mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. yeah, some other yeah. things, yeah. too. And we urge everyone to go again online, go on the website, and uh, you guys, if you want to mention the ones involved and all the, well, the prep, everyone was involved, but also the marketing material and all the, all this stuff is really awesome. And so there's great sort of online PDF uh, tour guides mm -hmm. uh, that one can print out or have on your device and take with you. Both of tours, there are given, so obviously there will be more by the tour leaders, but they're also self-guided tours, right? That's right, yeah, we've got a lot of kind of tour resources to see the history of some of these buildings, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are just within walking distance of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. urban Honolulu. Yeah. yeah, so it's really just sort of almost appetize us, like poo-poo's, right? right? For <laughs> hopefully getting more and more hungry and then venturing out as, as we do all the time. Mm -hmm. I know whenever we bump into each other, then we say, hey, we saw this awesome thing that we haven't seen before, or we ran into this person here who is an eyewitness. So it's a really interesting ongoing process, as well as, again, um, having to be proactive. We will have probably one of our... Uh, Doko Photos is again a sad one because talking Pete Wimberly, his varsity building that we've been doing a show about, mm -hmm. probably as it looks like won't be able to be saved. So this is our last chance to document it without being able to conserve it, which is really sad. It reminds me of when people get old and then all they do is go to each other's funeral parties. Oh. Right? And I never wanted Doko Momoi to be that way. So for years, I've been advocating to be more proactive and maybe have each and every one of us adopt the building mm -hmm. like you adopt the beach to clean up you adopt the building and then you first and foremost educate yourself about and then you educate its owner and then once you educated them they're probably more likely to first of all appreciate and then maybe don't sort of become a victim of a temptation of novelty Mm -hmm. so easy as usually when people are not informed, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's something that we constantly talk about. And, and again, um, thanks for being the president for us this year, sure, especially at such an important milestone of our uh, pretty new uh, chapter, right? I think we're five years old or something like, that. Something like yeah. that. So this is, this is a huge success to uh, have such an important event so soon after our birth. Yeah. yeah so. Well, and I want to bring up kind of one more slide, actually, because um, yeah. you just talked about a couple of things. You can go to the next one. Um, you talked about Pete Wimberly and the Varsity Building. So uh, on Saturday night, uh, there's going to be an exhibition kind of opening at mm -hmm. Fish Cake down mm -hmm. in Kakaako mm -hmm. on um, uh, Wimberly's kind of legacy his residential work, his hospitality work, and a bunch of other projects. And that's going to be up um, just only two weeks. Mm -hmm. But it'll be a kind of a great uh, thing open to the public to people yeah, to go yeah, see yeah. and check out. There's a little plug for that, his we house should, back in the day. We should probably be sneaky and extend some invitations to some owners of Pete's buildings. Yeah. Even going back to Kamehameha School, who owned the varsity building, and saying, you know, just so you know, yeah. <laughs> and with w whatever you do now, you do with knowing. You right. can't say, oh, I didn't know, because that's a too easy right. excuse, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's just excellent. And you guys were digging out again. You mentioned before visiting his house, mm -hmm. which is usually not possible because it's still in the hands of his family, right? So it's private. And, and here I was... When I was preparing um, one of the next shows with DeSoto, which is about skins, which is our most challenging, but we believe maybe one of the most relevant we always wanted to do. And it's about mm. the first, the second, second and the third skin. Mm -hmm. And also the relationship of a dress code and mm. a dress code. And Pete is usually wearing shorts, as if the camera could look down on us. We insist to do that, no matter of where we are. And so here, I, he wears these sort of funny pants. They're not shorts. I don't know for what reason. But, but again, usually he did. And his architecture here is very sort of textual, right? 
um, but it's also con contextual according to filtering the light and the sun. So it's both at the same time. So that's definitely something that we can continue to can continue and should you know continue to teach us. You know, from these, let us be taught by these masters. Right? I feel definitely, definitely. And I know you've always been very inspired by that throughout your education, which we had the privilege to be part of when you were still in school not that yeah. long ago. So yeah, great. You kind of pass on that passion and keep the torch going. Exactly. So that's <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, we can phase out and bring up the the, the sort of the sunset and and. Yeah, um, sort of cover here again, again. Uh, these are four days that we hope to see everyone out there for the different events mm -hmm. um, and, and really enjoy the hype of um, tropical modernism here that, um, you know, us living here has become sort of a, a secret treasure. And, but, but out there in the world, it's um, been celebrated more than we actually are aware of that. There's a whole Monocle magazine, you know, uh, city guide that is highly dwelling upon that and, and doing that. There's a wallpaper city guide. And unfortunately, they are not available on the island. I mean, it's hmm. as bad as that, right? Hmm. So it's really, uh, yeah, hopefully the world coming to us now makes us a lot more aware of what we have. Definitely. There's anything that the symposium can do. Yeah. I believe that's that's it. Yeah. And so well in September is gonna be modernism month and so there's a whole bunch of events, not just the symposium. Mm -hmm. There's uh DeSoto Brown's actually talking tomorrow night at the Hawaii State Art Museum and then something coming up this first Friday as well, a big kind of modernism uh fashion show and things like that. So this is I think people are waking up to it mm -hmm. and uh yeah we're in a good spot to be. All righty. Well, uh, thank you so much for having beer, having here, and having yeah. beer as well. <laughs> Along the lines, <laughs> there was yes. a Freudian slip. <laughs> so uh, thanks, Graham, and uh, yeah, see you all at the symposium, and obviously see you for new shows in the future, both Dokomomo and Human Humane Architecture. But again, first and foremost, the symposium. And uh, until then, please stay. Uh, Tropically modern and more downly tropical. Bye bye. <laughs>